to my channel, so I'm super, super excited to be sharing this video with you guys. It's going to be all about room decor and DIYs to decorate your bedroom for the upcoming Christmas and holiday season. Yeah, I've been so excited to do this video for the last like week ever since I figured out what I was doing for everything. So I really hope you guys like how it turned out. Obviously, like I have my festive makeup and everything on. Actually, it's kind of dark, um, which I don't normally do. As much as I love makeup, I don't usually do dark makeup. Um, but this morning I sat down and I was like, I'm in the mood to put a lot of makeup on. So I did. So I show you quite a few things. Some of them are just super simple, like changing up your decor. Some of them are actual DIYs. And I have to say my favorite one is probably the pillow that I made or the little like fake snow globe kind of things. Because fun fact, I tried making real snow globes and it was a total fail. I spilt stuff everywhere and I tried making them twice and it just didn't work out. So I ended up settling for how that turned out, but I still think it's super cute. And it's even easier and simple and it took like probably two minutes to make each of them. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out and I hope you guys are too. And I hope you guys just like this video overall. Subscribe to my channel if you are new and give this video a thumbs up if you thought it was helpful. So yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now and just go ahead and get started with all of the DIYs. So I feel like this is one of the most obvious and classic holiday decorations, but adding some Christmas lights and some garland is a really simple way to just decorate and make things more festive. So in between my windows, I went ahead and did a little zigzag pattern to hang up some Christmas lights, and then I took some little mini ornaments just to add another cute little touch to them. And then for my headboard, I took some garland, and I believe I got the garland for around $4 at Michael's, and I just kind of draped that over my headboard and messed around with it until I was happy with it and it was staying in place. And then I just took some Christmas lights and put those over top of the garland and just moved them around until I was happy with the way everything looked. And then I found these cute little gold glitter bows at Walmart, and they were only $2, so that was great. And they had little, like, twist top twist tie wire things on the back of them so I just used those to secure them to the garland. So for the first DIY that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, I decided to go ahead and make my own pillow. And what's great about this is that you can do whatever you want to decorate it. And holiday pillows can get to be pretty expensive, so I figured I would just go ahead and make my own. So I found this red plain pillow at Walmart for only $5, and I just took a pen and kind of sketched out what I wanted my letters to look like. I definitely recommend doing this so you have an idea of the size and how everything's going to be spread out, and you just get a better picture for the end result. And then to put my letters on, I used some acrylic paint that I had but if you have fabric markers or if you want to add glitter or anything, feel free to do so. And I thought it would add some cute contrast if I did the different fonts and paint colors. So for the words let it, I used white paint and I wrote them in cursive. And then for the word snow, I made the words a little bit bolder and used some metallic gold paint. And then I had some white pom-poms that I added to it just to go along with the whole snow theme. And then this is what it looks like in the end. I think it is so cute. And like I said, pillows are a great DIY because you can customize them to whatever you like. And then something really simple you can do to decorate your room is wrapping any canvases or picture frames you have with just wrapping paper like you would any other present. And you don't have to worry about what the back looks like because nobody's going to see it. So you can see I left that really sloppy. Um, but once I wrapped them, I had my mom help me add some ribbons to them just to make them look even more like presents. And I just kind of fast forwarded through everything that she did because I don't really know how to explain to you what she's doing. <laughs>
So for the next DIY, I'm going to make these cute little snow globe things. Like I said, they're not real ones, but if you want to make real snow globes, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube or Pinterest that you can find. Um, but I just wasn't using the right materials for it, but you definitely can make it work out if you want to. So my modified version is even more simple. It took like two minutes to make each of them. So you just need to take any jars. I had some mason jars, but you could also use old food jars if you have any from like salsa or pasta sauce, stuff like that. It would work really well. And I just filled them up with some fake snow that I got at Walmart for only $2.50 and fill them up as much as you like. But also keep in mind how big your trees are. So then I just kind of stuck mine into the snow and twisted them around a little bit so they would sink into the snow a little bit more and be a little bit more sturdy instead of falling all over the place. But you don't have to use trees, which is nice. You could also use cute little ornaments that you have. So feel free to be creative with this. And then I thought it would be cute to add this like hemp rope type string that I had. I don't really know how to explain it. But you could also use like red or white or anything festive if you would want to do that. And then just something simple you can do is switch out any plants that you have in your room. So I had these white ones in the corner in that mason jar. So I took those out and added this little pine plant that I found at Michael's. And it's just a really easy way to make things a little bit more Christmassy. And then on my desk I had those pink flowers so I just took those out and added this red bouquet with some like gold accents and a pine cone in it. And I found that at the dollar store so definitely check there if you want some cute little flowers. And then just something really simple you could do is add more blankets to your bed. I had this cream one that my grandma made me, but if you want to go out and buy something festive, feel free to do so. Hey guys, so that wraps everything up. Let me know what your favorite like decoration or DIY was in a comment down below. Because obviously I want to know what you guys liked in my video. And also, I have been doing like fake vlogmas um, since I am still in high school and everything. I didn't want to do like full on vlogmas because my days aren't that exciting and I just like go to school and babysit for the most part during the week. So I'm going to be vlogging on the weekends throughout December. Um, so that should be my next video up. So make sure you stay tuned for that. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful holiday season and you're all super excited for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you guys celebrate. And I just hope you guys have a good day. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.